My father was someone who would scold you and cry, spanking you. <laughs> Why did you do this? And he's, no, you shouldn't do this. And he's walking crying, you know what I mean? And then he was a military officer. We had guards at the gates and everything. And then when he spanks his kids, he's the one crying. <laughs> you shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. but but we had that kind of interactive way. relation. My mom, rascal. <laughs> really? Ah, my mom was a rascal. Everybody, all my friends would know tomorrow. <laughs> when when I was in university and she was coming to visit us, she would come with bottles of brandy, rolls of cigarettes. I love she, her. Yeah, she would sit down with us in the we got lead off campus, she'll sit down, she'll light a stick of cigarettes, and call everybody out, let's do <laughs> drinks and stuff. It was easy to speak with my parents. Mm. So that kind of back um it was fun, yeah. you know, yeah. so many of those occasions, like I, now I'm grown, I have children of my own, and then, and then we have some of their friends stay over, and they think it's easier to speak with us than their folks, and I don't understand how it works in other homes, because with my kids, my son can walk by and pull my ears, say, old man, you need to, <laughs> these are your big ears or something, and, and, and I wouldn't think anything about, about it, it, you know, yeah. but there's some people who sit and they, they cringe and they're afraid because they can't and wouldn't dare relate with their folks that way. That's, yeah. that's, um, we also um, have come to find out that, you know, if you close particular doors of communication between mm -hmm. you and your children, you will be really shocked at who you think your children are ah. because they will hide behind those closed doors. <laughs> you don't want to know when you get in, you know what I'm saying? So it's easier for you to be able to well, a lot of people might not think about it as being traditional, mm -hmm. but there's no book in this life on parenting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You need to form, create your own path as you go. Yeah. There's no correct, there's no way. There's someone, there's, in our local parlance, we say there's not one way into the market. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bottom line is pray to God to help you, give you the wisdom mm -hmm. to lead your kids along the right path. Mm, mm. At the end of the day, no matter how right you are, they can still turn out wrong. Mm. Do you get it? But do your best. And the only way you can do that is through communicating. You need to keep talking all the time to everybody around you. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it works. It works. That's so powerful because when you close the doors of yeah. communication, people hide behind them. Yes, now it's obvious. They don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. They're locked out. They're so, locked out. Yeah. What would you say is, in terms of you know, raising a family and your kids, what would you say is the one thing that surprised you about being a father and a husband? It had nothing to do with me, hmm. really. I was just blessed enough to have a very good partner in my relationship because, you know, our work takes us away from home. Hmm. When you're away from home, there's always a need for uh, you to be reminded that you're home. Hmm. You know, so, hmm. so the, my immediate environment had to be reminded that he might be away, but he's, he's he loves you and he misses you. So all that long distance, let me speak to the baby children. It never worked because my partner took care of the home front. Mm. I've realized that sometimes I've had to travel without planning. So like I get a call a night before that you might need to be somewhere for a month. You know what I mean? By the next night, you yeah. know? So who takes care of all of that? Yeah. So you see, it's not the money that you make that takes care or that builds the family. Do you understand? It's the fact that there's an appreciation. Yes. And it's both ways. Yeah. Symbiotic. So the kids understand that this is the nature of daddy's job. Yeah. Uh, it might be difficult for mommy, so they need to cooperate. Mm. I have an ATM card or one or two, I don't know. But the ATM card is not with me. <laughs> what I know is, hello, babes. <laughs> it will finish you. <laughs> the way it's going, it will finish you. <laughs> I don't know what the digits are. But I know that. When I come back, I find out that she's, she's not spending for herself. That's the children. Mm -hmm. It's our immediate community that the cash is going. Because I'll, I'll come and I expect to see something stupid that money has gone on. And you don't see, you don't see anything. You just know that it's gone to welfare. Yeah. You know, so there's that understanding. That's why, and you know, the kids are like that. They say, we want this. And I say, ah, you want this? Uh, this is the account balance I have now. <laughs> you see, there's nothing inside it now. <laughs> so pray, pray, pray that I get good jobs. So that when it comes, I give it, give it to you. you say, I don't worry, we understand, we understand. They're very understanding yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah, so there's, um, I told you that we have that laser fair yeah. arrangement with the kids. If I call my son, for instance, right now on the phone, and I call and I put it on speaker, 
you hear as as he picks up, he doesn't say, "Dad, oh, how are you?" He says, "Old man, how are you?" That's why <laughs> that's how he is. And you can experiment after the show. Right. Now, yes, that's it. so you understand. There's a familiarity. Mm -hmm. You understand. Mm -hmm. So even if I'm not around, you, it's the same. Ah, old man, <laughs> what are you calling me for? Are you showing up? <laughs> My voice is better than yours. That's what I keep hearing from him all the time. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what 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 are you up to now? That's what always saying. You know? So we talk. We catch up. The kids always and I, we, we catch up. Mm. Madame and I, we catch up all the time. You know, I call her NY. Right. So everybody calls her NY. Right. You want to call her? Mm -hmm. What would you call her? NY. Yes, right. If you call her anything else, you'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Why? Because she's just NY. That's who she is. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. She doesn't want to be called Auntie. For Mama, what? Anything like that. <laughs> you want to remind her <laughs> that we have gay hair now. Thank God I went. This cab is concealing a lot. <laughs> It's your concealer. <laughs>